Chi Yang will lose his 18 pounds 000 in botched minning do. A 28-year-old man yesterday appeared in court on allegations of duping businessman Philip Chiangwa's daughter, cherished Natasha Chiangwa through a business partner of £18.000 in a botched mining investment deal. Willard Munaradzi Kachir denied the charges when he appeared before magistrate Mrs. Judith Teravinga charged with fraud. Kachir told the court that he did not enter into any agreement with Cherish and that the money which is alleged to have been sent to him had been sent through Jamie Farine Muswab and did not amount to £18.310. He entered into a business transaction with Jamie Farine Muswab wherein they shared all the risks, profits and losses associated with running a business enterprise. He advised Jamie Farai Muswab and his agents that he had defrauded the business funds which he and Jamie Muswab had invested into the business. He has been making serious efforts to ensure that the funds he has been defrauded were recovered as well as trying to make due to Muswab since he was the one in custody of the funds, said Kachir through his lawyers. Chiangwa, in her testimony, told the court that Kachir approached her seeking US $20.000 as capital which was to be invested in mining. She said Kachir promised her that they would earn US $2.000 in monthly profits. Mr. Tapuanish's Vidzai, prosecuting, said that sometime in April last year Kachir approached Chiangwa saying he wanted partners to invest in the mining business. It is said that Kachir told Chiangwa that if she invested US $20.000 in the deal, they would get US $2.000 in profits every month. The court heard that Chiangwa then engaged her business partner Muswab, who then sent Kachir £18,310 through World Remit. Kachir allegedly received the money. It is said that Kachir failed to give Chiangwa the promised monthly profits, which prompted Muswab to return into the country to establish why he was failing to remit the profits as agreed. Kachir is expected to be back in court on October 4 for trial continuation.